This is not a real video. It is generated by Sora, a text-to-video model by OpenAI. Sora generates high-resolution videos with realistic sync dynamics up to one minute. These generated videos have excellent 3D consistency, simulating plausible fluid dynamics, snow particles, and refractions. But how does Sora work? Imagine adding Gaussian noise many times to an image. We can convert it to a pure noise. We can train a denoising network to progressively remove the noise and generate a clean image. This is how we train a denoising network. We sample a clean image from a dataset and a noise image from a Gaussian distribution. We encode the image with a forward diffusion step into a noisy image. We then train the model to predict what noise has been added to our clean image. Okay, but how do we generate high-resolution images? There are two popular methods. The first one is cascade diffusion. It generates a low-resolution image first, and then progressively upsample it to a high-resolution image. The second one is latent diffusion. It compresses the image into low-resolution latent using variational autoencoder. This enables training denoising network efficiently to generate a clean latent and decode it back to a high-resolution RGB image. The same idea extends to videos. We compress videos into spatial temporal latent, train a denoising network in the latent space, and decode a clean latent back to an RGB video. We can use a UNet or a transformer-based model for our denoising network. Solar uses diffusion transformer for its flexibility and scalability in data and compute. Here we see that scaling the model size and the number of tokens both improve the generation quality. The same scalability holds for video generation. Here's the result from the base compute. Four times our compute. And 16 times. We can clearly see the effect of compute on the generation quality. Video data comes for its various durations, resolutions, and aspect ratios. However, existing vision transformer often operate on fixed size sequence of patches, usually by resizing, cropping, or trimming the video into standard sizes. For example, given a noise latent, we petrify it into a fixed size sequence that can be processed by transformer blocks. When dealing with images with variable sizes and resolutions, we can pack the patches into a single sequence for efficient training. Sora can thus generate videos with various aspect ratios. Training a text-to-video model requires a large-scale, high-quality dataset of text-video pairs. Sora used the recaptioning techniques from DALI 3 to produce highly descriptive captions for all their training videos. But how does Sora generate long videos with consistent content? We don't know for sure. One potential approach is to generate a sparse set of keyframes and use them as conditions to generate the remaining contents. It's useful to put Sora in the context of prior work. Sora uses latent diffusion models for high-resolution video generation, cascade diffusion for long video, recapturing techniques for improved language understanding, diffusion transformer for its flexibility and scalability, and native vision transformer for training videos on their native aspect ratios. The training dataset is probably the most important factor for its success. <laughs> Unfortunately, the tech report does not provide any details of its training data. It's blank. Aside from text-to-video generation, Sora can also animate static images, create perfectly looping video, and smoothly interplay between two input videos. Of course, Sora still has limitations in accurately modeling the physics of glass shuttling, the rigidity of the chair, and the contact of the basketball and the hoop. However, Sora has shown remarkable video generation quality and demonstrated interesting emerging capabilities such as 3D consistency, object permanence, and physical interactions with objects, all by scaling up the training. I'm super excited to see what comes next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.